Hey everyone, Wanderbot here, and welcome to Land of Glass. So every once in a while I will open up Keymailer and just find a random game and be like, huh, let's check this out. Every once in a while, one of those games are like the most unknown little games that nobody's ever heard of, and it came out yesterday, and it's like, what? Huh? Alright, let's give it a go. So that's Land of Glass for me. I don't know if it's... Revenge. I could select Revenge, Duty, Prophecy, or Redemption. Well, let's go Revenge, maybe. I mean, we could be James and Marcus, or it could be Tylek and Kvalt. Kvalt? Uh, let's just go on normal. So apparently this is like a CR, uh, CCG RPG kind of situation. Like a weird voxel world. Hmm. Hmm. They said no. They said no. Are you surprised? Yes, yes I am. Why, why are you not? No. Of course you aren't. We've had this conversation before. How can you be so cynical? The guild has given me no reason to not to be. The guild is strict because Svardota demands it. Their hands are just as tight as ours. Yes, do what they do and make this about that cursed lake. Svartota is in our prison warden tie. The guild is. They always have been. The lake is important. We were put here to protect it. The dragons. I don't care. I just... I just don't care. I'm not sure I ever did. I cannot raise my family here, and you should not raise your family here either. Deep down, you know I'm right. Eh. <sighs> What was that? Well, this is a neat effect, at the very least. Oh, it's like weird shadow spider tick creatures. This is a very unique looking game. It's a bit muddy trying to look at what it is, though. What the freezing hell? Alright. Begin battle against this thing. Stats. I don't know. I... Gotcha. Attack cards. Attack by placing attack cards on the attacker. This will lower the opponent's defenses so damage can be dealt. Defense cards. Defend against damage by placing defense cards on the defense grid. Oh, defense grid. Damage is dealt when an attack is greater than the defense on the defense grid. The greater the difference, the more damage done. Stamina. Successful attacks lower the opponent's stamina, reducing their walking speed. Damaged opponents are also knocked backwards. The primary goal is to knock the opponent off the playing field. Okay. Okay, I gotta continue from there. That's different. So this is... This follows Smash Bros. logic. Okay, and we get a card. Four cards, so just a bunch of attacks and defense. Use the inventory to view the collected cards and modify the deck. Click cards to move them to the deck. Use the mouse wheel to scroll through the inventory. I'm not sure if we want those. Okay, well let's continue. What was that? I... I don't know. I've never seen anything like it. Look, they're everywhere. Are we being invaded? My family, Ty, they're in danger. We have to find them. Okay, begin battle. So, speed, stats, things, gotcha. Hopefully this isn't real time. It is real time. Okay, attack cooldowns. Once an attack card is placed, an attack cooldown begins, preventing further attacks for a short period of time. Cute attacks will not trigger until the attack cooldown is triggered. Now that the attack cooldown is over, the attack triggers. Attack in the same space reduces how fast attack cards can be played.
this is a weird game. I don't mind it. It's very confusing. I was not expecting it to be real time as well as everything else. So is there any reason why I should have low value cards equipped ever? Oh, this is new. Fire Staff Utility Card. So it increases two of my stats. Gotcha. In that case... Equip Utility Cards to improve player stats. Only one of the same type of Utility Card be can be equipped at a time. Click on the stats to view my stats. So, ah, here we are. FTD. Fortitude. Enemies cooldown of placing. Attack cards, the same... Okay, defense. Virtue. How much damage is given to enemy stamina during attacks? How much damage can be taken before you can't move? Attack. Power of knockback. Lowers the cooldown of placing. Rate at which the player moves towards the center of the playing field. Okay, so I'm going to take this off. I'm going to try going for a smaller deck and seeing what happens. Am I supposed to... Oh, I see. There's nodes. And now we're up against this dude who got ticked, I guess. Now, can I just wail on the same singular space? I think so. I'm not entirely sure if I understand. Okay, so that's the cooldown. I'm more or less just walloping him instead of anything helpful here. I should probably work on my own defenses to some degree. I think I'll be fine. It looks like we're getting a bit slow, but we're I think we're okay. That was weird. This is this whole game is very odd. Alright, so we got fire. Burns the playing field, causing stamina damage to enemies. And attack. Gotcha. Alright, add that, take that off, add another burn. Gonna leave the low low value cards behind. I don't really know if there's much of a point to low value. The monsters don't just kill, they in fact. I don't understand. Answers can wait. I need to find my wife and daughter first. None of this matters until I know they're safe. So we've got a bunch of little nodes. This is interesting. I kind of... I wish the cards were more interesting. Had, like, special effects and whatnot. Okay, let's go after this person. They have reduced fire resistance as far as I can tell. Okay, field of magic cards. Place field magic cards on the playing field to perform a variety of attacks and abilities. Gonna just try and keep him in there. Just keep my stamina up a little bit. I'm not entirely sure how some of these fields work. Okay, so you do not want to replace these. Let's fire again. Put in front of us. I guess the fire is pointless in the end, but that's okay. I'm just going to keep smashing him. There we go. Oh, oh no. Oh no, I am dead. Failure. I got crushed. Huh. Alright. Well, let's try that again. I think I need to focus more on defense or I need to not be on fire. Yeah, so I have to cover empty shields. that he is going to hit. Because if I don't, he's going to hit them. And he's got a fairly sizable shield grid. 
Because previously I've just been more or less walloping the, uh, the environment. But what I should be doing is covering my butt. And I do have to worry about that fire placement, because that's one thing that's going to get my goat. Get me crushed. Okay. I understand this a little bit more now. I like the environmental effects. I mostly just, uh... Worried about everything else. Okay, so this one... Is immune to fire. Oh, good. He's got a bigger attack grid. Okay, he's just laying it on me. I don't know if I can beat this guy. I'm trying to hit him, but he is causing problems. Like, I'm honestly more focused on not taking too much damage here. Come back, defenses. Okay, he's gone just before I go. Whoo, boy. It's a weird tug of war. I don't, I'm not entirely, it'd be nice if I could just click the card uh, to send it or double click it instead. And I understand the placement system, but it is slow. So what did I, what did I get back? Pickaxe head. And a higher defense card. Okay, well let's, let's do one more battle. I think we've got the gist of this game. It seems seems neat. Okay, so where's the... Oh, here it is. So I've got that now. I'm not sure if having um, the lower value cards is even worth, worth anything for me. Okay. Really, it's the, uh... It's the successive battle that was a problem. This isn't so bad. It's just if I have to fight two guys in a row, that's... That's where it gets rough. Okay, well, at least we're finding things heal. Okay, so I've got a... I've got a heal spell now. Yeah, so the spells are are what's really helpful here. We're also getting a lot of money. Well, let's continue on. Looks like that's it for this area. Music's not bad. Bit discor discordant sometimes, but still. The menu music was really good. When I first turned it on, I was like, oh, this is actually kind of nice. The guard posts mean nothing today. I've never seen them so empty. Perhaps they've been called elsewhere to better protect those in the city. Ha, ah, no, they fled in terror. Once I find my family, I plan on doing the same. We cannot stop this, Ty. I don't know what this is, but we cannot stop this. We cannot abandon the lake. Yes, we can, and now might be our only chance. But the... Come on. Also, who's the mage friend? Like, are they even, like, fighting here? Okay, it's a threefer. This is scary. How does this even work? Maybe if they're weaker than I am. Oh yeah, they're significantly weaker than I am. There most of them go. Okay, that makes my life easier. I got worried about it for a second. My attack cooldown is low. But we're good. Yeah, why? He's just standing on top of a house for whatever reason. I don't get it. Alright, so we get defensive cards, a pickaxe handle, and strength. Permanently increases the player's strength, allowing for more card weight. Okay. So I think strength is just automatic. 
So let's check the higher defense values on. So the reason why you'd want the smaller ones is just to fill in the gaps. But it doesn't affect my cooldown, so why would I bother? I don't know. Alright. Well. I was gonna be a bit more, uh... I think I was gonna be a bit more dismissive of some of these things. Uh, but this actually isn't so bad. It's got some neat features crammed in here. They're weird. Oh, you can actually see the, uh, the friend character hanging out up there. The cooldowns are kind of odd sometimes. Oh yeah, you can you can see the friend. So the friend is the one casting the spells in the background. Huh. Ah. Healed immediately. That was my heal spell. Who is healing the like weird spider critter? I guess what I should probably do is actually start wailing on some of the other spots. Force him to, uh... Force him to... Go through some of the other sections. Man, he can't even reach me. Well, that's one way to do it. Hello, random guardsman. Gonna just try and keep him in the... Oh, shoot. Guardsman is a tad scarier. Definitely more aggressive. Seems like my best bet is to just wail on the singular section. Let him just walk through the fire. Okay. I think we've got him... We've got him on the ropes at this point. Especially if my heal spell rolls back around. So the other reason why you might want the uh, lower value ones is they probably have a shorter cooldown. At the same time, this works... This works perfectly fine for me. It's interesting. I think I still wish it was turn-based, so it was easier to commentate over. But looks like... Okay, so we get more strength cards. Another fire card, and a burn card. Burns down the enemy's defense over time. And it seems like support spells are the way to go. So I might as well. Alright, I just want to see what happens to this guy his family. I assume they're all dead, as usual, with these games. Well, it's just one dude. Okay, grid magic cards. Place the grid magic cards on the relevant grid to perform a variety of magical attacks and abilities. Time slows down significantly when holding a magic grid card. Oop. Oop. So note to self, focus on defense a little bit here. Okay, and this guy's smashing my shields, but that's why I've hoarded the really expensive ones. This is neat. I definitely am interested where they're going with it. I think the, uh, the baseline... Conund conundrum? Uh, the baseline, baseline problem with it is, like, uh, I think the... What do I want to call it? It's not the, like, the frenzy of gameplay, necessarily. Kind of uh, kind of holds, holds against it. It's empty. Why is my home empty? Diru. Arzola. I see no signs of struggle. Perhaps... Diru, Arzola, the Guildhall Cavalt. Everyone's been running towards the Guildhall. It's where the gu guards would be sent. 
They'll be up there, along with my wife. We'll find them. The guild would never let the likes of me or my family enter its halls. I work for the guild, and so does my wife. Trust me, our families are safe. Okay, well, I can make it to the guild hall at least. What? Oh, that's a new critter. More fire. When in doubt, more fire. Oh, shoot. Gotta remember to defend. These, like, little spider dudes are not as durable as I, er, they're kind of unfriendly. They're kind of easy to fight, though. Are you going to attack? I was kind of just waiting for it to hit me. Okay. Well, there we go. And we've got a new horror creature. Oh, he's big. Oh, he's really big. And he's smacking my defense like nobody's business. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to beat this thing comparatively. I gotta just keep pumping defense and hoping for the best. Oh no! Okay, we've we've got this kind of under wraps. I'm just waiting for it to smack me. Damn it! It is hitting me constantly. Oh, and there I go. Damn! I don't know. Uh, let's try that one more time. I care about what happened to his family, but only a little. And I gotta stay away from the, um... I gotta stay away from a couple of the things. This will just leave him in the fire zone. Let's see. Come on, kill it. Kill him dead. Burn him down. Should probably replace my shields. We've got a friend rolling in in a second. And I, for one, don't like friends. That smack me off of the environment. Those are some sludgy cooldowns. How? I'm sorry? I am confused? I think we ran into a bug. I think it's immortal. Yeah, there's no way that thing's left. Alright, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna call this close enough. This is definitely a let's try. This is a neat game. It's got some neat ideas. Obviously, uh, execution's a little bit fiddly here and there. Um, but I do enjoy the idea of it. it. It's cool to have like a a card-based RPG, especially like an indie one with such a neat little style. Uh, but so if you're looking for, I guess, just kind of a weird take on the whole uh, deck building uh, RPG style genre, something, uh, then this might actually be worth taking a look at. Uh, I certainly, I certainly found it interesting. That's for sure. So, I guess with this, if you guys like this in any way, shape, or form, leave me a like. Helps more than you know. And if you want to see uh, more indie impressions or card-based games, I play a lot of them. <laughs> uh, hit subscribe, because uh, I am going to play tons. But for now, I guess I'll see you guys on whatever I play next. And as always, thanks for watching.